Oh my god. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It is, I like to give everyone weather updates, it seems, on my videos. It's super gloomy here in Newcastle. It's been raining, but it has taken the edge off the hot heat, so I'm okay with that. Today's video is another lush video, and I'm going to be <laughs> promising breaking up these lush videos in between, but it is the newest lush kitchen subscription box. I have not broken into it yet. I thought I'd leave that with you guys. I have to admit, this was spoiled for me. Someone um, I know posted a picture of the box but without a spoiler picture before it. So most people have been posting like the front of the box and then the contents afterwards saying like spoiler alert, don't go any further. Oh my god, I've got beans on my chin. That's my lunch. Mm. Um, but someone else didn't do that so I did end up seeing pretty much everything in the box. So a little bit sad but it's not in the world because I'm excited to smell everything. So let's break in. I hope everyone's doing really really well. I'm so excited. I, I still love these boxes. Right. Oh there it is. And shall we? I'm, I'm not going to look at the card yet. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna do what I did last time. Right, let's put these over here and not make a mess. Cause the last video I did, I had packing peanuts all over the floor and I was finding them for ages yet. So the first thing I'm gonna go into is, oh, I'm gonna tell you the options that you could vote for. To vote for this month, you had the option of, was waving, not drowning bath bomb, lemon and ginger's days bath bomb, karma bath oil, marbar bubble bar, um, a coconut soap, which I can't remember the name of, grass shower gel, 29 High Street shower gel, and vanilla vanilla delight. I think there was also a shampoo bar, Dr. Peppermint as well. I voted for everything but waving not drowning. And that is because, I don't know if many people know this, at the top right hand side of the screen when you're voting, there is a little eye, which I didn't see. So I, could, I was like, oh, what does that smell like? I couldn't quite remember. So I was like, nah. Um, and I think I should. Have, I would have voted for it anyway because it's lavender and fennel, I think. But it wasn't the top pick. I haven't had uh, lemon and ginger days bath bomb, and I'm not a big fan of ginger. I found it. I think it sounded quite fresh because it was quite hot when I voted for all the stuff. So the first thing that I see, which I am so excited for, is the 29 high street shower gel so this is in the 250 gel format so that means that it won it won out of the two shower gels oh my god <sighs> that is phenomenal oh my god i'm, I'm stopped with the p word already oh that is effervescent that is amazing so if people don't know what 29 high street smells like it smells like a lush shop and they only have one other thing in the in the range that smells like this and that is the fragrance which you can only buy from the lush shop in pool which is the first lush shop so oh my god i'm so pleased because this is what i wanted in full size because i already have a bottle of grass shower gel let's have a little look what else we got in here? Down here. Next up, we have Marbar. Now my little bit of, this is my Marbar here, my little bit of my sugar cube is coming out, that's all right. And it's, oh my God, I never realized it was Honey I Wash The Kids scented. Is that right? Yeah, Honey I Wash The Kids scented. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So I've never had this bath bomb, I mean bubble bar. Ever. And I actually remember the old Granger Street store and they had these in the window and they used to have um, the round wooden chopping boards and they used to have all the bubble bars in swirl. So Sunnyside and I think it was the Comforter but it might have been, it was a pink bubble bar um, and they were sparkly. And it, I think the pink bubble bar was American cream scented, I can't remember. And they had that and then they had the Mar Bar and I think they also had Dorothy all on there. And I remember picking up that and at the time, not being its biggest fan, but this smells so good because I love Honey I Wash The Kids. So that's fabulous. I'm so excited. Ooh, now I think we've got something that isn't 
what we voted for. And this is Beauty Sleep Face and Body Mask. And this is a luxurious face mask with an extra spoon of gorgeous in it. Oh my god, I love gorgeous. It may even help you sleep. So it's, oh look, it's got a little note here as well. So it says, this indulgent product was specially selected for this month's Lush subscription box by Mark and Helen. We were so excited to share it with you that we have to confess we forgot it was vegetarian rather than vegan. We hope you love it too, but if you would prefer a vegan alternative, please contact UK Customer Service and they've put the email address on. Which I think is amazing that they've done that and that's really nice and you can choose something else that's vegan. And then in the other side it says, a year ago, Mark dreamed of a luxurious sleep inducing face mask and face and body mask. 25 formulations and one name competition later. We hope you love it as much as we do. Sweet dreams, Mark and Helen. Oh, I love that. And again, I am a big collector, so I'm just gonna put that down there. And this is it here. There we go, and I'm going to show you the ingredients in case. Let's have a smell. <laughs> oh my god, that, that's what it looks like. Oh my god. So it smells like gorgeous moisturiser, which is like a lovely like neroli smell. So wow, there's a lot of ingredients in here. So we've got, this is a very luxurious face mask. I'm going to take some of the more fancy stuff. We've got mullein leaf and linseed decoction. We've got... Ground dookie beans, we've got orange blossom water, we've got coconut oil, bentonite gel, orange flower absolute, neroli oil, myrrh resinoid, lavender oil, benzoin resinoid, tonka absolute, ylang ylang, jojoba oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, leafy butter, avocado oil, cold press, ev uh, cold press evening primrose, primrose oil. Try saying that a few times after you've had a drink. Uh, wheat germ oil, oh my god, this sounds like a moisturising dream. Please, if this is good, I want them to make it back. Is this a fresh face mask? Do you have to keep this in the fridge? Yeah, it doesn't say whether or not you've got to keep it in the fridge. I'm going to keep it in the fridge in case it goes fluffy. I definitely think that they should say in here whether or not... Uh, right, okay, next up... Yes! Oh, I'm so excited because I finished my last bottle um, last year. And we've got a bottle of the Vanilla Delight Body Lotion. And that is a beautiful vanilla -y scent. So if you like the vanilla -y perfume, it's the same smell as that. And then the last thing I think that's in here, yes, is, oh my God, yes, the grass shower gel. Now I have grass shower gel in the 250 gram bottle. So I was kind of pleased, well, I was kind of hoping that when I voted for the two shower gels, that 29 High Street would win purely because, purely because I already had this in 250 grams. But now maybe I can be a bit more frugal when I use it. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's so fresh. Oh, I'm definitely going to use it my other one because the other one doesn't smell as strong as that. So this grass is the smell of like a freshly cut grass with a bit of sweetness and a bit of kind of dampness in there as well. You may have heard me say those exact phrases or with the perfume video which I'll link down below of my Lush perfume collection. Um, so I have the perfume and I have the solid perfume and I now have two bottles of this shower gel. Oh, I'm just so excited. I don't know. I think my favourite thing, actually I think my favourite thing this month is actually the face mask. It smells so good. Oh I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to see what it feels like. It's very thick, and that is a nice scrub. Like, there's a scrub there, but it doesn't feel like... There we go. So there's a scrub there. If It's present, but it's not, like, super abrasive. That, honestly, smells a divine. It's cool that this month you had four things that we voted for, and then um, and one surprise. Mmm, that's lovely. Oh, so excited. Uh, I'm so excited, I don't know why I said it like that. Next month's box is, I'm buzzing about that because that is going to be a really refreshing one, which is definitely what we've needed with how hot it is. So yeah, what was your favourite item out of the box? We've got some nice bits and bobs to choose from. Oh, so fresh, I'm so, I can't wait to just, I don't know how to put it in my mouth, lather it on myself. And thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for everyone who is um, currently subscribed. And for anybody who would like to subscribe, please do. I try put out videos at least once a week. I try and do a couple a week. I have been a bit slow at doing that over the last couple of weeks. Just lost my mojo, but it's back, don't worry. I'm sorry about the background. I've cleaned all my makeup brushes. 
so sorry it's messy we are almost at 350 subscribers i can't believe it i started um posting more videos from you know kind of the end of march start of april time and we've jumped up so many um you know followers and subscribers so i'm really really grateful let's i'm hoping that we can maybe get to 400 before i go back to work in august that would mean a world to me enough of this if you like the video, I'm going on and on and on. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, whether it's more makeup stuff, you can follow me on Instagram at Sarah James NUA. I would say follow me on TikTok at Sarah Squids NUA, but I haven't posted anything on there at all. Feel free if you want to go through and scoot through that. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!